All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have our Castlevania Bloodlines run uh, coming in right now. So we have Aldrich Mecca who will be running it, and we have Frayed Knot and Twisted Six who will be doing commentary. So welcome to the stream, guys. Um, Thank you guys so much. Really looking forward to your run. Um, so whenever you are ready, you can give us that uh, countdown and we can uh, kick things off here. Best of luck, man. All right, thanks so much. And all right, and here we go in four, three, two, one, start. And here we are, and we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I only say that because I, I think I ran into a... Oh, there it goes. Okay, cool. We go. Well, here it is. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Fred Knott, the Twisted Six, and uh, Eldritch Mecca is obviously running Bloodlines. Uh, uh, really happy, and thank you for uh, getting us on here. This is right. Yep, and this is... Uh, first thing we're dealing with is that is a... Uh, that book is a 50-50 chance of getting a super weapon or a 20 sub weapon ammo and he this time got the super weapon which is a little bit tougher in terms of the speed run because uh you want to keep it throughout the entire level to do extra damage on uh monsters and bosses uh this dog is a bit of a pain in the butt because all of his actions are rng related and this glass all of the glass breaks uh randomly as well so there Ooh. goes the super weapon because it will hit you regardless of the state of the dead boss, which is yeah. a little bit bummer, but uh, practice and kind of in it as well. Uh, a lot of the movement tech in this is related to uh, Eric's springboarding, which you just saw him do. He just flew past those two levels there instead of taking stairs. Uh, this is another cool trick he used to jump right up next to the bone pillars and then jump right up using that, uh, that spear spray. Same thing. Yeah, and the uh, the candle count specifically for uh, getting the super weapon up is thirty, I believe. Uh, yep. Uh, you want to hit those double candles, uh, and once you hit thirty of them after getting the last upgrade, then you'll get the super weapon and the super spear. Right. Okay. It doesn't reset at getting damage at all; just losing it when you have it. Also, the great thing about this game is that the uh, the two different characters uh, between Eric and John basically make like completely different runs. Uh, John's movement tech is kind of weird when it comes to the whip, but um, it's incredibly precise too. So John's runs kind of be uh, have to be on the on the butt in order to uh, get through everything. And this guy has three different attack styles and he's basically trying to avoid the spear spin that guy right there because the reach is a little uncontrollable but so far it's a little bit of a messy pattern with all those jumps we got, the got a, little, a little tight in there <laughs> that's okay you got it down decent fight yeah. though this is where i usually hope for hulk uh because uh his color changes and it'll freeze out. Oh, just crouching. <laughs> I always try to make him go for the uh, break dancing, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, he here we're gonna be looking at some minotaurs. Uh, these will actually get fr frozen if you hit them, which allows you to pass through them or uh, just kill them pretty easily because they take damage from the boomerang there. I think it's the only time he'll use the boomerang. Yep. Oh, and then the uh, fish fishmen are 100% random here as well, uh, which makes uh -huh. that... as you can see, they are super fun. <laughs> that was a really terrible pattern. Four in front. Uh, I've seen. Uh, oh man, none in front. Maybe one is the average. Uh, here's one of the first of four auto scrollers. Uh, they did lump them real close together though, so we'll get them out of the way in the next two stages. And um, this is. Man. Go yeah, ahead, this is a perfect man. spot if you wanted to uh, uh, go ahead and get some donations. 
All right. Well, we actually do have a donation from Tubby Garfunkel with uh, $10 and the comment, I hope everyone has a good day. Thanks, Tubby. Thanks, Tubby. Miss you lots. So, uh, yeah, because I got a bad pattern on the fish, I'm just kind of uh, really just getting through here as much as I can and kind of have to kind of uh, play a little differently with the, some of the boss strats. So. This guy, you can actually trap in the corner by facing your back towards him and get him right in that corner and just mash uh, straight up with the spear. Uh, he's actually going to try to get... Well, I don't think he can... Is this the axe? Yeah, so he's going to despawn yeah, a boss yeah. right here. There it goes. Uh, his notes to me are, uh, once the screen snaps, throw the axe. <laughs> Somebody came prepared and actually wrote notes. Somebody else had to research a computer because their connection. <laughs> that guy had a, a, a more advanced uh, attack, but like he said, he's taking it safe. So uh, it's an interesting strat where you try to get in within clipping distance of his arm coming down. Uh, but danger, danger if it doesn't work out. And uh, another auto scroller here. Uh, the only difference is really, except you're going down, is you know have fun with Medusa heads. And uh, yeah, if you want to get another donation in. Let's... Or we can keep talking. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool thing. Cool thing about this uh, this water is that it will hurt you at a certain height. And I don't remember if that's the waist or the head, essentially. Uh, the head. The head. Is, uh, yeah, there, there you go. When you can start. Alright, so I was a little off the ball, I'll admit that. Uh, we did. <laughs> no problem. We, we did just get another uh, $10 donation from Momo, of course, with the caption F Cancer. There you go. Ooh. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, Momo. Yeah. So, candle count is a little weird here, but hopefully I'll be able to make that up. But if not, this place has plenty of uh, areas for me to make up. So. My note for this stage is go as fast as possible. Um, those guys are... Those guys do a bunch of damage and are hard to get over, so... These bone dragons are pretty cake until there's a required one later. As you can see, they dip down first and foremost. Uh, and they do that all the time. And see, he has he, nailed, he he got the candle count, so he's got the super weapon, super sub weapon, and the super spear. So now it's a matter of keeping it and getting to the boss. Man, this boss is gonna be hilarious. All right, so uh, get get set and go. Now with the super weapon, it enables him to reach all the way across the screen to the point at which you can actually do damage to the boss, which is in its head at the very top of the screen. So it's really important to match that candle count right at the end of the stage so that way you can get it instead of having to beat the middle of the boss out. You get it at the top right away. And there he goes, all T2 style, thumbs in the air. Nicely done. There's, there's a Hulk coming up for you guys. You enjoy that. Yeah. So my note for this stage is weird, Italy. <laughs> Hope everybody wrote down that task. <laughs> Uh, the thing about these harpies is, oh, bad news, uh, they carry spears, and in easy mode, they do not carry spears, so it's just one hit to kill, but then the other thing, too, is that, uh, if you manage to hit them directly on their head, they will spurt blood, which is a train on this old, uh, Genesis-style game, and it lags out, slows the whole thing down. Uh... And this is a bunch of just 
jump and move tech. This will use the damage state of the, of the monster to actually move through him uh, to get to the exit screen. This is one of the divergent path territories where if you're John, you actually go down that bottom path and uh, swing over pits with its his chain whip thing. And here's the upper path that's uh, exclusive to Alucard. Or Eric, sorry. And yeah, this is uh, the, the the bone dragon that you can't skip. It's just a little mini boss, but uh, it's not. And by the way, if you uh, see uh, uh, some damage that uh, Eldritch will take is actually intentional to uh, reset the candle count so that he can make sure he has a super weapon at the time of the boss. Bone dragon got a little away from me, but that's okay. Not bad. That's fine. Yeah, this stage is a little bit tricky because uh, standing near the ends of anything is really easy to drop off, but uh, he's basically just trying to manage uh, the spawn of the Medusa heads. It's another auto-scroller. Uh, yep. Super exciting auto-scroller. Thanks, last processor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not. It's not that boring. Boring. I mean, look. It's the tower. It's going back and forth. It's. It's living like it's today. The lovely fun tower. Of pizza. I mean, I haven't been to Italy. Oh, that was a good exit on that one too. Um. And this is a fun we've been making uh, at these mummies. It's the. It's a. It's a monster, sure. In a Castlevania game, sure. But also not a boss or a sub boss. So. Ooh. Yeah, I Ooh. messed up. I messed up the despawn, yeah. so we're riding the lightning on this one. Apparently, that's, so. that's not the expression. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I do what I want. <laughs> it's my, my run. True. Uh, and this should be the last auto scroller. Um, all of these flying mobs have one hit to death, so. Which is good because they come out of nowhere and uh and they, they drop random items so he now suddenly has the boomerang. Oh joy. Oh joy. But the other thing too is the uh this upspring, the super upspring with the spear, uh it does cause damage. Um which I don't think has been mentioned before, but it does allow traversing vertically. Uh, in some of those closed-in stages with a bunch of other things to jump up onto, it makes it a lot easier. Says the guy who's never beaten it. So, never mind, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you'll notice that uh, he never uses the holy water, because paradoxically, in this game, holy water is bad. Yeah. Real bad. All right, so he was able to get the super weapon. That's really bad. That's good count. And now for the gargoyle. Yep. So um, he got in. What you be seeing with strikes? Yeah. And yeah, so that's the first phase done. Real quick. Good job. Uh, so he's trying to get a get the gargoyle as he goes across the screen. Uh, otherwise nicknamed St Screaming Nix. Um, and you'll find out why here in a minute. You will find out why. <laughs> but that was. Uh, really good kill. He's got. He had all those quick hits when it was traversing the screen. I maybe missed one, but otherwise the time was still spot on. No, it was all fun. And but two health too. Cut it down, man. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna pay for it now. And after the music plays, that's when the life refills, and I take a bit of hit at time, but nothing too major. We're still on par with uh, my normal pace in Germany. You guys talk about Germany now. Enjoy. We go back and he right. <laughs> something. So, so he's gonna try to take some intentional damage on this screen, uh, so he can reset the candle count so it gets closer to the end. Uh, the thing that does the least amount of damage is the bones that these guys are throwing, but that didn't work out. So he just hits that last guy at the end of the screen there, pops out of the barrel. He is just fine. Um, here's another taking advantage of that spear jump. Get everywhere. Oof. That is just bad timing. I'm uh, I'm happy these skeletons are uh, practicing work safety and wearing their helmets. Yep, no OSHA violations for them. Even though I don't know what year it is, and they have 
just fully functional conveyor belts uh, to get you from point A to point B. Um, I don't remember the time frame on this at all. Well, here we go. Here's a here's a zip, and he nailed it. Just nailed it. First time, every time. <laughs> Good lord, dude. That's a began as a, a test strategy, uh, but essentially causing the character model while throwing the axe at a specific point will put you in geometry you're not supposed to be in and you get teleported right out of there uh so that looks really good and the uh, uh the the fly strats on that one it's actually at a certain point uh, i think it's holding the left to make sure that you zip uh wrap around yes uh yeah because you're basically wrapping from the left to the right of the exit point there are ways to exit not at the uh, door, which is tricky. Oh, and here, another staple monster relegated to mid-stage stuff. And I have to get ready to uh, say something right now. So upcoming is the uh -oh. blade skip, and you want to take each blade and divide it into three equal parts and with a point at the end and in between each section. That is where the hit detection exists on each blade. We jump through the first blade and walk through the second, and since the blade is spinning in the other direction right here, we have to damage through the, through the mob because the blade takes full half of your health. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody's taking notes, there will be a test later. Uh, and that was uh, thanks to a picture given to us by... Uh, Smelly McTroll, I think, was the one who first uh, kind of uh, drew it out for us, took the screenshot and showed us where those hit detection boxes were, and uh, Gonzo Kabu shows us that there's a face on the tower in the background. Oh yeah, it's always staring at you too. It's there's, always staring, it's always, always judging. There it is, there it is. I know, just mini-mugging you. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Judging your <laughs> choice in boots. Acting like you know me. Come on, yeah, let's bust out those 90 <laughs> references. Let's do this. <laughs> We're in All our right. 30s. Anyway. <laughs> Here's Gear Steamer. Um, as confirmed, I believe as late as yesterday, his pattern is pretty static. Um, and this isn't just the first time you get to see Gear Steamer. You'll get to see him later, too. Uh, there's a small bo boss rush at the end. Uh... <laughs> Throwing up the super weapon, huh? Yep. Because yeah, you can get a few uh... extra hits in and help just speed things along. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty standard boss fight. Uh, nothing really crazy on the strats, but, but uh, good fight. That was a good one. And uh, since the next stage is France. Please don't jump out of the screen when this exits, or you'll find out, you asshole. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you end up leaving this stage out of the screen, which you can do with the spear jump, you can't use the downward spear on this level. It just takes your spear away. You know, it's a fun little uh, kit. Yep. For this level, you'll see that he's flashing when he gets hit by the pollen that falls down from the trees. His controls are now reversed. That doesn't do damage, as you can see, but it, he makes it look real easy. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's Blood Fountain. Blood Fountain. See, now it's a Castlevania. Yep, there we go. If you had your doubts, we are back. These monkeys are a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, it is just execution. They don't really behave randomly. Um, but the way to get them the best is to get them on their return swing after hitting them with the X. Uh, execution is really good. I, ah, didn't jinx it. Yes. Nice. Good job. <laughs> good job. We did it. Yeah, that can be that can be a run from kill player as well sometimes. Um, uh, now we're using uh, geometry in the stage itself to uh, get some quick kills on these things, so we can just pass by them. My Zaku Knights. You can't convince me they're not Zaku's. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and the reason to approach and hit them so closely is because the spear is actually doing damage on the thrust and return. Uh, so he's getting a lot of quick kills on these guys, including those uh, uh, chandelier hits. Those are going great. And this guy has uh, that guy you want to damage to stun because his movement is a little out of control. Um, Bone pillar. 
I think Not there's a, uh... a damage skip there, but since he's got everything tuned in, uh, it didn't make sense to do it. You save more time by keeping the super super spear and going forward. Mm. And this is uh Eldridge knows which guys to kill and which ones to not to get all the way up, and I'm pretty sure the super sub weapon there was just a safety. And no no game is complete without a flea man alley. Oddly enough, it's the non-Belmont that gets it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to get through the Flea Manelli as fast as we can, because RNG here is definitely a thing, and, uh... Oh, pretty... We... Oh, almost got you right at nice. the end. Good. Good work. Hold on. Yeah. See, right now I'm maintaining a calm and cool composure, to let it be known that when I get through Fleeman Alley, there are as many shrieks and screams during that. <laughs> so uh, now here is a, a, a kick puncher. Punch Knight. Right in the Punch. <laughs> Punches to the power kicks, and there he goes! Uh, more knights. Uh, these guys are really neat. Um... Uh, Wheels is coming up. Wheels is my favorite knight. Right here. Everyone is ahead of Wheels. And then there's Gun Knight. <laughs> uh, and then the worst boss uh, we have ever thought of. Yeah, well, we're convinced. A second is kind of like one of Dracula's. Yeah, Fine. but we're, we're kind of Fine. convinced as one of Dracula's art experiments from high school that he just kind of left out. Became sentient, and then also it turned out it could weaponize circles. So, way to go! But it is a Genesis game, so there's a lot of weaponized circles. To be fair, <laughs> that's true. But uh, yeah, uh, pretty standard easy fight. Just uh, one attack phase, very dodgeable, destructible bullets, and then attack yeah. And so, move on. Yeah, when those when the first two are fired, you hit those, and then you stand and attack the columns, and then due to that nature, you take care of the other projectiles. Yep. Um, this is the first of a theme of bosses in uh, in Bloodlines, which is the theme of women turning into things. So, just, just standard flying woman, everything's normal, nothing wrong. And now she's Mothra. Mothra. It's all fine, don't worry about it. Totally fine. Ooh, I mean, totally Mothra. We'll find the twins. We'll, we'll find the twins, they'll sing the song, and calm her down. Oh, there I, we go. I thought, I thought that was Black Widow's job. Was it? <laughs> I'm thinking of a different movie, don't worry about it. Uh, no, the, uh, the twins told Black Widow how to, how to calm down Mothra. It's, it's yeah. fine. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. We're all fine, this is good. This is good. By the way, I'm playing Castlevania Bloodlines. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, the run, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm doing that. I'm, I guess I'm doing something or whatever. Just like every other Friday night, I don't know. <laughs> so, so this is actually the the last stage. That damage was intentional, so he can get back on his candle count. Um, a lot of a lot of a lot of the game is the intentional damage and candle count to make sure that oh. Turn away, turn away, yeah. Freydon. All right, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, this is this is the, the room that absolutely makes. Yeah. So this it's splitting the screen into three discrete sections, or four, three or four, yeah. Uh, and the way to get through this is by walking and paying attention to your feet. And uh, the Medusa heads do not make it easy, but at least based on their spawn location, they are easy to hit. And there goes Eldritch, making it look easy. Oh, okay, totally normal. Cool. No, they should be normal, totally right? Normal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe just the up-down is reversed on this, so... Um, I don't think it makes it sound any easier when I say that out loud, but <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, alrighty. Now we're gonna see a, a familiar face from stage one that will just be rushing at you to try to get your up. Yeah, the first one puts you in a false sense of security because it does go much slower. 
and then the rest of them come at you uh, double, triple speed. Uh, and I think uh, Eldritch is going to... Eric, take a picture with me. Eric, oh. <laughs> yeah, Eric, they have... Oh. <laughs> they have uh, some good audio cues, though, as well. Uh, because yeah, they'll start yeah. making the noise before they get on the screen. They are not quiet. Oh! You should get it right in here. There we go. Yeah. There yep. you go. <laughs> Candlecom may have gone a little away from me. Okay, it's okay. We're fine. <laughs> We've recovered. It's, it's, it's all fine. It's all fine now. Uh, and here is our best friend, Def, uh, who is going to take us through the boss run. Uh, you have a chance of getting shot at very slowly, just like that one. You have a chance for snacks, and you have a chance for one of three bosses. Uh, the good thing about a chance, it's basically dictated on the card, and Eldritch knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And uh, the good thing about this is that going to the boss rush, the uh, the bosses actually take double damage, so you can get they won't take too long. There we go. Bye, Screamy. We miss you. Bye, Screamy Next. Bye. And shout out to No Digby for that name. I forgot that, didn't I? Yeah, shout out to No Diggity. <laughs> no Diggity War. forget that time? Good lord. This run is ruined. It's the only thing yeah. I've written down. <laughs> right. You have can't nothing work. written down. I can't I work under these conditions. Down. Snack time! <laughs> oh, snack time. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's favorite dishes. Here you go. Alright, here's the golem again. Uh, golem is coming up. Watch how quick this goes with Eric. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we are live now. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh, yep. Uh, you'll notice his sparing use of the super weapon in most of the most most stages as possible because it does add such amount of leg. Um, and uh, but that is the primo place to use it because it fires in every direction. It's got the distance. It's got the reach. It's got the power. I don't yeah. know any more of that song. <laughs> All right, All I remember is back. the uh, Transformers movie. I thought it was—I thought it was a song from that other game that's not being run right now. There you go. Yeah, there you go. There yeah, you go. perfect. Okay, so my can't so my gem count is a little low, so I'm gonna be while well, I'm gonna be using it against, um, it's gonna be coming into play here because the next two fights, including death, are uh, you need it. It helps out. It makes things a little quicker. But we're gonna just be a little slower here, just for safety's sake, and we're just gonna kill that. Yeah, that one's a, that one's an audible. You really have to kind of do it a bunch of times, as many times as Eldritch has to kind of have a better feeling of it. I just watch him and I'm like in awe. It's like, yeah, that's a pattern. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> uh, the one that's important is also getting the axe right there because it's going to help him with a speed strat on Elizabeth's second phase, with Deuce's third phase. And here we are, again, with the woman transforming into something. By the way, this uh, this woman is the reason why Dracula is back. She, this is uh, Dracula's niece, and she's like, I miss my dear uncle, and I'm a vampire, so I'm bringing him back. I thought we talked about this, that I would know as little about the story as possible. <laughs> nope, you got, now you have lore in your head. Ah, no! Not sorry. Very interesting. In now. Can't take it out. For the next like three hours. Uh, now is a good time to take a little nap. Um, yeah. Every... So this this fight is is very long. Um, the amount of orbs that show up on screen, or the the amount of times that he has to hit her before she resets to another. Um, so yeah, if you get any donations, now is a perfect time. And th this is a new strat that I'm using, by the way. Uh, basically, I am hitting her with the axe, 
on the first available frame because it finds out because it turns out she takes full damage from this sub level. And that helps speed things along. Also it uh, I think it's from your positioning throwing the axe is what's making her not wrap around to the other side of the screen. Correct, yeah. Basically if you cut over if you get closer to her, uh, after that's gonna be a little slower, but that's okay. Um, yeah, if you get closer to her, she will just move. Uh, she will teleport away from you, and it can make the, and she'll throw fireballs. And a fireball will add one second of time each time she throws, me. and she's dead. Jim. Yeah, the old strat was to actually just jump to the other side of the screen and stab her. No, take so your time, having... <laughs> Even in death, Elizabeth, take your time. This is all about you. All right, guys. I'm going to take this brief moment to uh, read another donation, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have a $42.06 donation from You Are Late 11 saying, Head to round it up. Good job, boys. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that actually brings our total to. Thirty-seven hundred dollars flat. Wow! Oh, nice. So that is amazing. Thank you so much, guys. We are only three hundred dollars away from our four thousand dollar goal. That's awesome. That, that's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, absolutely it's incredible. So thank you so much to everyone for the support, runners, uh, spectators, everyone, everyone who has helped make this event the success that it is. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, so we are, we're getting there. there. It's still possible. We have a few hours left, so uh, let's push towards that goal, guys. So we yes. are on the last fight. Well, second to last fight, I guess. Um, he's doing a standard Dracula. Uh, teleport, throw some fireballs, lots of bats. Probably bad breath. Horrible fashion sense. Or the past, I'm not sure. Mm. I, I like the high collar personally, but the getting him killed in the center screen is important because it'll take time to move to the center screen for this phase. Um, so that was, that was hot. Who did we decide this was again? Was this Willem Dafoe? Was it Willem Dafoe? I think it was Willem I, I think All I right. just kept calling him Ian McGregor, but it's fine. Willem McGregor. I like it. All right. And here we Plus go. Plus, the Super Spare Bow is not the end of the Man, I can't wait to see Cookie and Monster again. Yay! <laughs> so this, this fight, he's trying to basically lock him into that corner so he only has to do the one type of attack, which will protect him from his projectiles uh, and get him in there. Um, the fire was a little closer than you, uh, I'm comfortable with, but he's doing okay. just fine. And we always try to make sure he dies by stubbing his toe while airborne. So I'm, I'm hoping. Because honestly, it's the most horrible way to die. There we go. Uh -oh. Stub your toe. Oh, jeez. Got him. <laughs> there All right. Go. <laughs> and time is on orb. Yep, time is on the orb that's coming up. Hey. And... 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 Time. Well, there's time. Well. And there you go. Time, time there. there. there there's time. <laughs> Not bad, sorry. Well, thanks uh, for having us. That was a pretty good time, buddy. Yeah, Not gonna lie. I'll take it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you uh, thank you for having us, Eldritch. Thanks for the uh, fantastic run. Uh, Twist 6, your commentary was satisfactory. I appreciate you too. Right now, please see <laughs> my office after this. We have to discuss things. Oh, no. Is it about that test? <laughs> yeah, it's about that test. Uh, <laughs> All right. and Thanks, Ed. Yeah. Well, uh, and I do want to give uh, just a couple more shout outs here. Uh, first off, but, uh, well, huge shout out to Game Over Cancer. Thank you guys so much for uh, letting me come on here. I mean, cancer is always this personal story. You know, someone that you know, friend, family, maybe even yourself. And sometimes, and we get those bad, you get those bad endings to those stories. But we're hoping that we're we're starting to get more good stories. And the money you guys are donating, hopefully, we'll get more good stories. And hopefully, we won't have any more cancer. So keep donating, keep doing good, guys. And um, yeah, shout out to the Castlevania speedrun community, Briven and Gonzo Cat for helping me out with so much of this run. 
And uh, yeah, thank you, Afraid Not and Twisted Six for commenting on this. And that is Castlevania Bloodlines. Thank you all so much.